Hey, my friend, it's Matt. Listen, what do you do when everything that you're doing seems to not be working? <laughs> We've all been there. I know I've been there. And I'm going to give you some real practical advice today here on 5-Minute Mentoring to help you through this process and come out on the other side with a lot of strength and a lot of vision. Well, hey, my friend, so glad that you're with me here today on 5-Minute Mentoring. Listen, when you're doing everything you know how to do and it's not working, listen, there's there are a few things that are as frustrating as that. And uh, I want to give you some tips today and just some really practical advice of, of things that you can do uh, when things aren't working. Number one, I would say you got to realize that you and I don't see the whole picture of what's going on. You know, God sees the beginning from the end. He knows exactly where you are in the process. And although it doesn't make sense to you and it may feel a little frustrating, may even feel like you're taking a step back, God knows exactly where you are. He's faithful to you even when it feels like you're you're all alone. My friend Aaron Brown often says that when you when you feel like you're you know taking a step back or even two steps back, actually what can happen many times is it's like God's pulling you back in a slingshot, getting ready to launch you into the next thing. And that may be really encouraging for you today. If you feel like, gosh, I take one step forward, two steps back. I don't know what God's doing. Doors are closing. Things that have always worked have not worked. Listen, trust me, God's got a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11 says his plans are to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. And so you have to have to have to trust that and be faithful in the middle of this season, even when you don't understand the full process and and the full picture of, of what's going on. So, you know, I always tell people, if you don't know what God's doing, go back to the last place you heard the Lord. And if the last thing you heard the Lord was, you know, being in your studio, making art, being faithful to him, doing the thing that he's called you to do, then you just do that until you have clarity on the next thing. Because you know that that was what what he said the last time. And as you're faithful in that, God will bring the resources, relationships, opportunities, open doors, closed doors, He'll bring all that to you as you're faithful. What you don't want to do is get out there and start striving and trying to make something happen in your own strength. Hunker down with Jesus, <laughs> be faithful in the thing he's called you to, and trust that he sees the beginning from the end. You know, also, I think many times we forget uh, when things are not going the way we want, you forget that the Holy Spirit is there to be our guide, our friend the one that leads us into all truth, that brings us wisdom from from the Father. And so ask Holy Spirit to begin to show you through dreams and visions, through speaking to you, through words of wisdom, words of knowledge, prophetic words from friends or mentors, leaders, uh, other people that are in your life that that trust the Lord. Ask them to be praying for you as well and, and speak those words into your life. All of that works together to encourage you as you're in a season that doesn't make sense. Again, usually what people do in seasons that don't make sense, either they get paralyzed and don't do anything, or they go into the work, sweat, and strive mode and just try to make things happen and kind of bust their way out of that. Neither one of those are great things to do. Asking the Lord, being faithful to what he's called you to, connecting with other friends who can help you hear the voice of the Lord, uh, that's going to be a really, really great recipe uh, for success uh, in, in moving through these seasons. Now, the other thing I would say is that many times it's not a spiritual issue that's going on. Many times it just can, it can be practical. There's some practical business things. For example, maybe the thing that you've been doing as a marketing plan or a marketing strategy in your business, uh, you've been doing it for years, it's been working great. Guess what? Now the season's over or it's ending. That show is no longer around or that marketing opportunity is just not producing the way it used to. That doesn't mean God doesn't love you. <laughs> that doesn't mean he's left you. That just means the season is ending. And so you've got to be uh, on the lookout for the next thing that the Lord has for you. That's why I love our our you know community and Created to Thrive because there's so many artists that are doing so many things. We're all learning from each other at the same time. What's working, what's not, what's next. Uh, and that's just, that's really, really huge. So being on the lookout for what's working and what's not working is is really a key thing. The other thing I see so many times, you know, you can be a great marketer, but a lot of times the reason your art is not selling is because it's just not up to the place that it needs to be in the marketplace. So have you taken time to have uh, respected artists that you know, look at your work and actually, actually ask them, hey, like for real, like legit, I would love for you to give me 
a real, um, honest critique of my work. Where do you see it in the marketplace? Where do you see that I could come up? What about the aesthetic? What about my skill level? I need to know. Listen, having that kind of valuable input into your life is so, so critical. Otherwise, you're operating in a bubble where you think everything's great. All your friends are saying, oh, it's great. Your, your mama says, oh, it's beautiful. Everybody at church loves it. And yet you don't have a realistic idea of where that actually fits into the marketplace. Um, that is super, super important, I think, to realizing why your art may or may not be um, may or may not be selling. All right. And then the other thing, I think just many times the things that, you know, artists are making great work, maybe they're out there, but maybe they're just not out networking and building new connections like they need to be. Maybe you're just sitting at home in the studio thinking, well, God called me to be an artist and I don't know why he's not bringing me all the, all the clients that I need. Listen, part of him bringing you clients is you being out in the marketplace where those people are. And so being out there, not just with friends and family, but at shows and meeting new people and applying for exhibitions and volunteering with your art guild and just doing the things that you need to do in the marketplace, all of that is a part of being an artist and moving through seasons that don't uh, feel like they're, they're you know, being all that they could be and they're working out exactly like, like you thought. So many times it's just Again, not necessarily the spiritual things. It's just the practical things of life. Being out there connecting with people, having great work, and also just knowing the season of where you are uh, in marketing and, and being able to follow uh, the next thing that's that's coming up and not getting stuck on doing the same old thing uh, and wondering why it's not working anymore. All right? Listen, wherever you are, again, realize God sees the beginning from the end. He created you. He knows exactly where you are, loves you, is for you, and is, uh, has good things for you as long as you're walking with him and uh, asking him to be a part of that journey every day. My friend, I'm so glad you're here with me. I love you very much. I'm praying for you, believing God's best for your life. Until next time, remember, you were created to thrive. Bye.